Okay, so here we go. Um, options. I think I, I think I launched the game earlier and checked the options. Yeah, we're good. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Begin the game. Please make sure audio is on. Yep. Controls WASD and left click. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. My name is Davey Reedon. I wrote The Stanley Parable. And while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. Okay. Chat has to come back. Chat has to come back. How quiet is it? How quiet is it? Do I need to turn it up? Turn it up a little. Subtitle. Yeah, I'll turn subtitles on. Is this too quiet? A bit too quiet? Okay, let me turn it up a little bit. Yep. I'll turn subtitles up. I'll turn subtitles on. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Close captioning. Full captions. Okay. Okay, that should be it, right? We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Now these games mean a lot. No, okay. To me, uh, it's a menu. I met Coda in early 2009. At a time of Are they under something else, or does, is it just not there because we already started that scene? Let's try again. Begin the game. Controls. Hi there. Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. Okay, there we go. All right, now chat's going. All right, sorry about that. Okay, chat's gone. <coughs> See you guys on the other side. My name is Davey Reedon. I wrote The Stanley Parable. And while that game tells a pretty absurd story, today... I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Coda. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level what? for Counter-Strike. You can walk around here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. But what I like is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. And of what? course, it destroys the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going through his head as he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So, it's 2008, Coda starts making these games, and he never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer forever. Like a true artist. I think artist. he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, yep. At one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. <laughs> so, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game, and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. Is because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. 
And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. Okay, As well, I think Coda's going to be I'll pissed. show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November 2008. Cool. Okay. Warning. Whisper machine active. Shift to structure immediately. The Whisper Machine? This game is That's called a cool Escape name. from Whisper, and it's one of the more generic games you'll see from Coda. Do we have infinite ammo? We do. Okay. So it's like Devil May Cry. And Devil May Cry is kind of like Dark Souls, so the Beginner's Guide is kind of like Dark Souls. It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid-development. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere, but then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. But ultimately we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Enemy force neutralized. Begin shoot it after you. Convenient timing on the door I there. You can see the bottom of the universe from this room. <laughs> Special border around it too. That's neat. Apparently, this space station has a labyrinth on it. I... Uh, sure, I don't know. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. Whoa. Okay, what if I go back, though? Or, what if, if you'd I... really like to solve the labyrinth, you're welcome to do that, too. Eh, uh, you know what? I'm good. Okay, this is the part that's interesting. The game has this <clears throat> narrative about the whisper machine and how it mm -hmm. has to be turned cool off, and then you get to the engine room. Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That beam is powering the whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If you, your body could stop the beam. It's so much to ask, but for all of our lives, would you do it? Could you give yourself? Um, sure. Let me pause here for a second. Very half what you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere. And this is what happens instead. What? The beam causes you to start floating. And this is an important moment for him. Because yes, this is technically a glitch, but Coda identifies something human about it. Like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Yeah, or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. 
I, I don't even know. Uh, I have no idea what he was thinking, but what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. The past was behind her. Yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. What? I can't believe you've done this. Is the music playing backwards too? So it's a short and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. It is less advanced than the previous game, but actually it seems to be more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. Why does the future keep changing? When she stops and looks, it becomes clearer. Okay. It's a short little oh, thought. She finds it says what it oh. wants to say. <clears throat> and we missed the line there. Didn't need anything more than that. Which to me is why it works. Because it gets out quick. Okay, next one. Alright, this is really cool. Ooh, spooky. You are now entering Slenderman Town. And that's it. Okay, the meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. What? Oftentimes, Koda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with that at all, but what are you gonna do? I know it's tempting, but there's actually nothing over here. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, let's just be complete and go to the other one, because otherwise it'll bug me. Yeah, we're good. Alright, let's go up the stairs. Let's go up the stairs. Led Zeppelin time, here we go. Okay, we're slowing down. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if Code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. It kind of looks like the stairway's stretching at the same time because you're moving so slowly. Why is it giving me a choice to press enter? Can I make it without pressing enter? What if we do it without pressing enter? How long is it gonna take? Let's see. I'm looking at the corner of the building that we're approaching. It's taking quite a while, actually. What if we jump?
We broke it. We broke it. We broke it by jumping. Oh, it's still slow. Oh no. We made it. What? Game filled with chairs except one chair is floating. You construct the wall, the wall is destroyed, you were given a medal. A Stand on an X staring. And nice and filled with little ideas for games. A button you, you press to stop the chaos that doesn't work. Press U to surrender. Does enter even work? Oh, it does, okay. Coda would often tell me that he didn't mind if people thought of him as cold you or You are distant. a gate. He said that he knew that he was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, but that it takes time to really see that. It can be a very slow climb to get there. A normal game we have to scream into a mic every 15 seconds to keep playing. A key in one game unlocks a door in a completely separate game. Play it as a pair of floating eyes emitting footstep noises. Ready, set, fish. Well, this is new for Coda. It's an actual puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Oh, no. Not a puzzle. Puzzles weren't part of the plan. Don't forget that solution, because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. Okay. We're going to see it a lot. What are these holes for? What? So that seems to be it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve a puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. All right. Now I'm going to modify the game again, so that when you press enter, it'll remove all of the walls from this room. Alright. What? How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually Holy find shit. it funny that this game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Either way, I think that the point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? You are now exiting. Uh -huh. So, this, combined with the entering game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's a bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. I might sneeze. Here's your sneeze warning. The great and lovely descent. <laughs> sneeze hype. Let's talk about video game development for a second. Every video game runs on what's called an engine which determines what the game can and cannot do. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. The Streetwise Fool. To make all of these games, Coda is using an engine called Source. 
Like all engines, Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. You might consider mm -hmm. paying attention to the architecture in Coda's games, to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing linear, boxy corridors. That's kind of interesting to realize, actually, that the, the, the whole limitations of the medium are way more nuanced in game development. Holy shit. I guess in, in film as well, way more than books. Well, this is this is different than what he just described, though. This is completely different. Oh, he fell. Where are we going, David? Where are we going? Let's just fall. What? That was kind of weird. like spikes from up here. It's kind of unsettling a little bit. They look like spikes. enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. Holy crap. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Is there an easter egg if I stay here for a full hour? This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. Okay. Um, I want to turn the music down. Um, I can't. Okay. I find like the music is a little too loud compared to his voice, but because I can't, maybe maybe it's building to something. Maybe th there's a point for that. Okay. Maybe there's a setting I can't see. Does the prison represent how Coda felt being trapped in the Source engine? Oh, there's the those three circles again. The bowling ball things. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's the puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. 
Well, it's kind of like it's kind of like breaking the game a little bit, right? That you're opening a door and then you're kind of going through the door and then hitting the lock and then kind of running through real fast. It feels quite possibly like the the, the most the most mundane kind 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 of straightforward example of you ever feeling like you're doing something that you're not supposed to do that's still the solution. What? Listen, listen, listen. Is that a furnace? You there, did you come from up above? Here, what Coda was up begins there? using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Yes, there was a world stamp with whiteness. Yes, there was an enormous prison I spent hours in. Yes, there was these floating colored blocks. Yes, there were these floating colored bo blocks. That's the world above, you've been there. Now this is important, did you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, I did, that was literally the last thing I did before coming here. No, I don't remember having to go through any puzzle. I'd prefer not to tell you, after all, we've only just met. No, let's, let's be honest. Again, perfect, now please tell us how you solved it. Tell us the solution, tell us how to get to the other side. What? I don't remember how I solved it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. I didn't solve it. Someone else let me in. Trust me, you don't want to go over there. What? Uh, go with one again. You must think harder. Please try hard to remember. It's so important that we get out of here. We must escape this prison. Can you think harder? There must be something more. Please tell us how to reach the end. Sorry, spooky blockman. Hello, how did you get here? Was there a puzzle you had to pass through? No, I've been right here this whole entire time. Uh... What? I suggest you go and see the puzzle sometime. It's not meant to be solved, but you can sit in the black space in the middle. <clears throat> what happens if I solve it? Why would I sit in the black space? Who are you? Who are you? Just go hang out there in that blackness for a bit. You may not like it at first, but it'll grow on you eventually. And so we make one last descent down to the final floor of the level. If this if this was Half-Life 2, you, there would be loading here. It's a lamppost. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. What? I'll tell you what I think. Uh, I think that up to this point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. We're gonna see it in the work as well. His games are just gonna become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. This game is connected to the internet. As you walk around, you can leave notes. Oh, okay, well, it's just like all notes you see are left by their players. Nice room, not. Wow, you're a mean note. 
So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this, but this game is not connected to the internet. All of the notes that you're gonna see have been written by Coda. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at a weekend game jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. I saw him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. <laughs> in retrospect, I think I was probably a bit too pushy trying to get his attention. Uh, I was over-enthusiastic. But he was very gracious about it and very patient with me. And I cooled off eventually. Whoa, holy shit. Can you guys hear me? Hello. Reasonable. Oh, feel free to skip over any of these notes if they're not doing anything for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. I, I don't Either believe way, you. way, to me they convey a sense of loneliness. I see this person who's filled with thoughts and feelings and beliefs and has no way to express them except as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. King of the world. Defined fun. <laughs> but it's ironic, isn't it? That in playing this game and seeing how alone Coda often felt, that we Balls. get to know him better and actually kind of connect with him. And I have to be honest with you, this idea is really seductive to me. That I could just play someone's game and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I could just get to know you through your work. I think this is why I always liked Coda's games so much, is because it felt like they let me have that connection. I felt as though he was inviting me personally into his world. And then I feel less lonely too. Cool cavern, bro. We're running out of space soon. With a uppercase O, we will suffocate. In a world f full of notes, one man will read all of them. This summer, you will believe blue speech bubbles can talk. This game is, is no nice. I would like it when I could. Okay, all right. What was the one that we, we, I, was, I wanted to read, but he was talking? I just saw a flying penguin. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic thing I've ever seen. I don't feel like living because nothing will ever be as majestic as that. I never want to see to see again if nothing will ever be that beautiful again i am crying now and plan on ripping my eyes out i must now go now to i must go now to do that oh shit there are too many messages from in this area why hey i can type here i'd rather be doing literally anything other than playing this the guy over there wrote much wrong how do we get to the bridge? This is like a Xenoblade Chronicles 2 level. Look at this. What the shit is this cavern? Boring. I can assure you, guaranteed, that there is an acorn somewhere here in this place, and the sailors are looking for it. What? Hey guys, just looking for someone to talk with. Or can we can we jump down there and get down there? I refuse to believe. Same. Butt ass butt. Same. I need to go to the frickin' bathroom. Recognize me, please. There's nothing here. Go back. Don't listen to that guy, okay? Yeah, this is definitely Dark Souls. Okay. A free t-shirt. Need other side door. Why you so? Makes game. Includes door. Cannot open door. Thanks. Open says me. Door how open? Someday I will meet the person who made this. I help people because of the inter inter enteral good feeling I get. Oh wow, there's so many. New room. Well, that looks interesting over there. Do you hear the chimes? They keep you going, don't they? I would like very much to be desired. Yeah. It's not very crowded here. 
scared of writing something, don't want to feel judged. <laughs> a game where you leave notes and suddenly everyone's a poet. Eh, don't bother. You can go in here, I think. Welcome, congratulations. I don't really know where to go with this. Can we fall? No. This is where I get off. I failed to write anything here. No, you didn't. You succeeded. I am compelled. Stop, turn back. Proceeding further will only result in misery. Take my hand. Let's jump together. Can we jump? No. Cabbage shapes our nation. What is that painting? I agree. What is that painting? Kind of looks like the bubbles. It does not matter if you ever get over there. I think it does. Very good game. Hey, don't talk about me that way. <laughs> I think... I think I'm... I think I'm this is not going anywhere. This is fucking with my ability to read. Next time I will do better. I need someone to talk to. Is this a... This is a note? Don't listen to the other notes. Okay. Y you're the one that we trust. I'm not safe. That looks so much better than everything else. Today I learned you cannot fall off. Ethical. I saw a person walking down there, now it won't come back. Devil Tower Star. Well done, all of you. See, if this was Super Mario Odyssey, all of these would be moons. Painting, what does it mean? Stop faking it. Art. Hey guys, how's it going? Just hanging. Creparian here. Whoever made this has issues. Says the guy who made it. Who are all of you? We will all die someday. Stop pretending you are other people. Spoilers, it doesn't mean anything. Cabbage shapes our nation. We already did that one. From up here, it just looks like dots. I think it's about how things look messy from up close and perfect from far away. Help, I am trying to speak. It's about how this game is pretentious and you all suck. <laughs> Said the game's critic. Devil Tower Star. We already did that one too. He was himself the most horrible creature he could imagine. Huh. Maybe I'll feel real someday. Well, I'm here now. Yeah, we're all here now. Ooh, continuity. There must be a reason for it, though. His terrible secret, he kept it well. I beat the game. Did you? More room. At the end of this level, we're going to see the puzzle again. And here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games represents an idea that was on Coda's mind at the time that he was making it. The and whispering. the puzzle is a way of closing the door on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. The whisper machine? Scared of writing something, don't want to feel judged. Yeah, we saw that one too. Okay, so some of them repeat. Escape, escape, need escape. He cut it up and spread it between worlds. Almost there. There's the there's the, the three circles again. I've seen everything. I've traveled the world. I have never told anyone. I wish there were notes in the real world. <laughs> Come one with the spiraling nonsense. Downward. In each digging. of his games, after exploring a theme that you know he might find difficult, Coda can then place this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution. He understands exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Almost at the end. Does this puzzle have a solution? 
Oh my god, I've been here for literally an hour. What the fuck do I do? Help. Help. This doesn't make sense. The second door won't open. Shit, how do you solve it? Developer, answer please. Answers, please. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between spaces, before you move on, you get to pause. Just for a moment, a few seconds to reflect on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. I'm heading back to the start later, guys. Guys, it's not so bad in here. The spooky smoke room. Uh, no answer, I think. There's no second switch. No solution. What's inside the orange box? What is that noise? How do you leave notes? Oh, what the fuck? Spooky typewriter room. Are you there? Please say something. It can be anything. I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak, 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 speak. Porn stars okay, die too. Tough. It's gonna kind of just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Hang with it. See, like, this is it. The whole game. And there's nothing that's particularly interesting about it. You just walk to the end of a hallway. Except, for some reason, Coda gets really fixated on this prison that has all of this modern furniture. And I don't know why, but he decides he needs to revisit this prison. He's gonna start over, use the same assets, turn it into something else. Okay, cool. Here's version two. Okay, so now we're the girl from the... from the... from... from... from the ring? What? What furniture ought to go in the center of the room? How about a TV with surround sound or refrigerator? Put a giant hole in the ground. Put a giant hole in the ground. Put a giant hole in the ground. Um, yeah, that's a table. Okay, now what about along the wall of the room? Let's put a huge picture of a horse. I'd really like a washing machine. 10 stoves lined up along the wall. Let's put a huge picture of a horse. Nope, okay, so my actions don't matter. I think we should light up this room a bit. A skylight, full ceiling window, let's open this baby up. I'm thinking 10 by 12 recessed electric 6 inch soft LED ceiling lights with a fluorescent trim. We'll put live Tesla coils in each corner. Yeah, yeah, let's throw that one. Yeah, let's do that one. Oh, a lamp. Okay, well, that's not what I asked for, but hey, it's close. And a table, you need a table. We have a table. Who are you? Where exactly are you doing this from? I'm pretty sure none of my choices are making any difference. Tables were invented in 1935. Who are you? There's a bit more to this one, but still, it's not really communicating anything. It, it's kind of just weird for weirdness' sake. It represents so, okay, how cluttered our lives can get over. with our stuff. This time he comes at the prison idea from a different direction. Hello, please walk forward. This guide will enable you to escape any prison environment. Follow the instructions carefully. Take care what you remember. Take care, what, that you remember each step? What? First click on this table. Okay, let's follow the instructions. Good, go over to the photo frame and click to turn it slightly. Why are these here again? Now turn on the floor lamp. Now turn the floor lamp in this room off, then turn it back on. Now go to the left side sofa, sofa move it over a little. Finally touch the shelves. 
That's it. In a real prison, the escape will now open. Return to the start to be taken back to your prison. Oh shit, what was it? And of course, now the table is gone and you can't yeah. begin the chain of events to escape. But he, he called that a table. Here's okay. a version where there are no bars, but you can't actually get to the well. And then a version where the inside of the prison is the outside, and the outside is the inside. <laughs> Let me just blink you real quick through a few more of these. I mean, he really unloaded on this prison idea. There's nearly a dozen of them. Personally, I think it's awful to watch this. To see a person basically unraveling through their work. And for what? Like, at what point do you just go, eh, maybe there are game ideas other than this prison that I could be working on. But Coda doesn't have that voice telling you to stop, that particular mechanism of defense against yourself. Without it, you just spiral. And so he keeps going and going and going and going and going, and then he hits on something. And he likes it. And that's it. He's done. He stops making prisons. This is the very last version of the prison game that he created. And the reason I think it works is that the prison is not actually in it. What? What the f What is that? Is that a wall? Spooky. How is this the same concept? Hello? Who is this? Hey, it's me. I'm you from after you escaped the prison. You're me? So you were trapped in this prison too? Yes, I was in the furniture maze. Yep, I was it's in the escape tutorial. And so yep, I was in the reverse what prison. Wants, is to be able to talk to someone, to share what's on his mind, and to get some good advice from someone who knows. But the irony is that even in this scenario, you're still talking to yourself. You know, all of these games so far are Coda talking to himself. Oh, that's where I am right now. Oh, I'm so glad to know that I get out eventually. What's it like to escape? Actually, I'm already forgetting what being in the prison was like. It's strange, but in a way, I kind of miss being in the prison. It feels like being completely still and wildly in motion at the same time. Let's go with that one. Do you feel any different? Sometimes I'm scared I'll get out and then things will be exactly the same as before. No, I'm really the same person now as I was back then. It actually does change. I don't feel like the same person at all. Oh, good. That's so nice to hear. It makes me feel really happy. Age just kind of does that, you know? <laughs> it's still me, but I'm not, but I'm not somehow. It's hard to describe. Remember to enjoy being who you are right now. It won't last. Wait, if you're me, then did you get a call from another version of you when you were trapped? No, I think I'm the first person to call back. Yes, I did get a call. That's how I escaped. Then can you tell me how to get out? Maybe I can come find you. What do I have to do? To get out, all you have to do is be sincere. To get out, all you you need to tell me how do you feel right now. To get out, just talk with me for a bit. What? Sincere. What? Yeah, I agree. That will free me? How does that work? Listen, you can't know until you're out, but I promise it works. Just be sincere. It will make sense. Yeah, just be sincere. Sincere about what? That's exactly what you need to figure out in order to escape. I can see why he considers this a fitting conclusion to the prison games. After all of the obsession and frustration, just to be told by someone you can trust that things are going to be okay, wouldn't that be nice? I don't know, that conversation was kind of fucked up. 
So what would it look like if Coda wanted to make a game about talking to someone other than himself? Huh, less boxy corridors. To me, this environment is meant to represent Coda's puzzle, with the two doors on either side and a dark transitional space between. Just so you're aware, nothing will happen up here until you've been inside the house. What's what's the context of all of this? What's what is what is this supposed to be? So 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 Koda obviously isn't isn't a real person. Koda that's that's been clear pretty much from the start. Um, but is is this a program that I'm running? And and obviously it's a program that I'm running. And 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 what I, when I walked up here, that was a scripted thing that he told me because I haven't been in the house yet. But in the context of of the game. Is this supposed to be live? Was that him commenting live on what I was doing? What's the context there? I, I don't think it matters, I'm just curious. Clean? That's a lot of books. Holy crap. Well, my goodness, I'm glad as all heck that you showed up. Thought I might be having to clean this entire house by, all by myself, and right miserable that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy homes. Oh, it's different this time. Don't worry about me. A place this You'll nice. I'll be glad to stay here all night. Step up from previous games, including this new and improved chat system, which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work, and this particular game took two months to create as a result. Oh wow. And lousy homes make home loners. Are we cleaning this whole place? Yeah, are we cleaning this whole place? That's the story, little one. Oh, don't you worry now. We'll be through this mess in no time. I promise you'll wish there was more. Why don't I finish up here? And in the meantime, could you please clear the table? Okay, Toriel. Much nicer. That's the table I want to see. Any snail pie? Now would you please run into the bedroom and make the bed? While you're in there, why don't you straighten out the rug a bit? All little details matter. I tried to do that before I even came up there, shit. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? How'd you end up doing this job? It's been a long time since I've seen a house this messy. Do you enjoy being a house cleaner? Well, I don't enjoy it so much as I need it. While I'm working, I feel a kind of calm that rests in the pit of my ribcage. My soul just can't be soothed any other way, it seems, which I guess is about all that matters. Oh, and that, Oh, that and a tidy couch. Would you straighten the pillows on the sofa out there, out here? Oh dear, it looks like someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Maybe mop that up as long as you're over there. I feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Make it especially cheesy. Yeah, absolutely. No. No, it was stupid, sorry, never mind. What? No, don't don't feel embarrassed. Hey, these dishes need to be washed, why don't you come do that? What are you doing, Toriel? Last I checked, the tub needed a cleaning. How about you scrub it down as best you can? No need to be perfect, we're all just human. Are there still books scattered on the floor of the bedroom? If so, would you put them back on the shelf?
Perfect. Now then, how about you come and clear these After dishes the off the table? Of what? Games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult or traumatic experience where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you, and eventually cohere into something meaningful. House cleaning is so difficult, how do you do it? Are all, the, all, are all houses this easy to clean? Do these chores ever end? Darling, let me tell you something. Whatever work you do, you have absolutely got to own it, otherwise it owns you. So why don't we, we be with the task at hand and leave the future chores to future you? Present you wants to smooth up the rug in the bedroom, believe it or not. Really Trust me on game. this one. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was during a period of a few months where he was, like, grossly happy all the time. Just walked around with a constant smile on his face. Clean up the tub. Earlier when I said I had a really cheesy thought, I was going to say it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it and it takes care of you. Huh. Don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. I get, I get it, that's a weird thing to, to say to someone you just met. Yeah, you're right, that's pretty cheesy, but there's a bit of truth in it once. Yeah, let's go with number one. I get it, yeah. Anyway, so, housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Books, would you please clean up the books? We did that already. Can we leave? Can we leave? No. Ooh, can we click it through the wall? No. I'm glad he made this. I'm glad he found some peace. Question. But of Do course, you enjoy this? it can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. Huh, okay. Hey, lamppost. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. I really thought that was the point of it. Items you love at members only prices. <laughs> Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. Are we a different person now? I want your friends and people in your life to look at you and think, wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think they think about that way in your own life? Who do you know who is so well developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful? I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is not how we do it, but how do we do it effortlessly? This is easy. It is so easy. It is so easy. About halfway through the game, the Being perfect is effortless. Oh, what the fuck? This is the key. How do I achieve it with no effort? On the way to work. And you play as the teacher. And suddenly you discover that your teacher is just as bigoted and afraid as you are. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. On the way to work, I told an elderly person to start contributing to society. Kids should not follow their dreams. Holy fuck. That looks really good. Okay, do, do we have to pick number one? Oh shit, no, you can't. Oh no, what have I said? Well, let me tell you right now, if it isn't effortless, then it's not the right answer. I still love you, it's just that you make me feel cold on the inside. Being alone must be awful. Let's keep going with two. 
Thank goodness all of you perceive me as being wise and intelligent. Drinking is not hurting my life. If you are torturing yourself trying to find the right solutions for your life, you're not doing it right. Let's go with three this time. Let's go with the yellow answer. Do you understand that you won't be happy until you love me? This is this is not this is for you. Seek out the only seek out only one thing. What is the easiest, simplest path forward? Ooh, I'm developing a cyst. Gross. So these are the inner things that he shouldn't say, and the yellow ones are what he would continue to think of what he was saying out loud before. Let's say the cyst one. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Anyone want to do some ecstasy after this? There's no truth, there's no pain. Anyone want to do some ecstasy after this? What if I'm not a good teacher? Do what is easiest, do what is simplest, feel what is true. Holy shit, you guys, something's coming out of the back of the room. Look out. Nothing, no one. It's coming for you, it's going to destroy you. Everyone run, run. Nothing, no one. I felt pretty hard for this one. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I think about this game a lot these days. This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this, and it's not like it's particularly complex, so I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Did I miss the three holes in the uh, in, in the classroom scene? Actually, I can't remember seeing one in the house that you clean either. What? This looks nice. All right, the performance is beginning. Places, please. In this scene, you'll be playing as me. What the fuck is with the floor? We are gathering. We are at a gathering of professionals. First, you'll start out leaning against this wall. What is with the floor? Okay. We're gonna lean against the wall. All right, here we are. Good, stay right there. The woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It is, it's your dream to pho photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Wise, happy, focused, successful. <laughs> uh, where is the bathroom? Spaghetti it up. What are you doing? You're deflecting. You're not saying what's actually on your mind. Stop dancing around it and have a conversation with this person. Do it again. I'm super, super scared of you right now. I like you. Here are all my hopes and dreams. Here are all my hopes and dreams. No, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. <laughs> I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe that's maybe that's you need a, a better feel of the setting. There were a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent the people nearby. Now talk to her again. This is like a this is like a a, a nightmare of of, of all of, of something you fucked up. You must have worked really hard to get where you are. I'll bet you've learned to lean into the pain. What are some sacrifices you have to make? Let's go with the straight the straight one. No? That's still not good enough? Okay. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realize how important this was for me? I'll never get another opportunity like this again. Every, everything was riding on this. Hmm, I want to try something. Try stepping back from the stage. What? What is with the floor? Okay, street lamp, you're usually the end, but there's this massive Hello Neighbor corridor down there. Uh oh. Okay, yes, now this is working. This, this is what it was like. Of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success, the answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. 
which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked to me like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. But what can you do? After this, Koda went off and took another five months to make a new game. Even longer than last time. June 2010, Mobius trip. To play this game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click to begin the game. What? Okay, well, my eyes aren't closed. Oh, we're back in the SSS Whisp the SS Whisper with the Whisper machine. Okay, well, I don't think I'm actually supposed to have my eyes, eyes closed. What? The door. Help, I'm blind. Help, I'm blind. Oh, that's unsettling. Please, someone talk to me. What? Help, I can't see anything. What's going on? You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much <laughs> impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. Please don't let this be forever. There was a giant door and then my vision went black. Can we go up? Okay. Oops. Truth. The only way to stop it is to speak something that is honest. I am bursting creative energy. I can't keep making these. My work is always fun. Uh, I can't keep making these. Yes, that's it. That's the truth. I don't feel anymore. I'm out of ideas. Like it's I said, me. I was getting concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So where's that coming from? But then even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Here was the point in my relationship with Koda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. I can't figure out how to say the thing. You're doing it. It's working. I'm alone, I'm stuck in it, I have to work harder. I have to work harder. We're going to be okay. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. After this oh, game, no. it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Four, five, six. Hello, where am I? What is this? Hello. That's pretty. Where did this island come from? How do I get out of here? Hello, is anyone there? Hello, is anyone there? Wait, where's my moon for getting across? Is that a person? How lovely. It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. What's wrong? You look lost. I'm completely out of ideas. When I try to create, I feel empty. I have nothing left to give to my work. Oh no. What's happened? Did something change? There was a machine that kept me going and it stopped. I'm trying to find this engine that used to protect me to start it again. Huh? Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. Is it the whisper machine? That whispers him ideas? What? You have to take me to it. I need to see it to know why it stopped. I need to see it to know why it stopped. 
I can if take you to it, but there's a problem. If the last game Coda talking explicitly about his creative frustrations, this one turns it up to 11. Now, put yourself in my shoes playing this. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? I can take you to it, but there's a problem. It's guarded by a difficult puzzle. If you can help me solve the puzzle, we'll find the machine. Deal? Deal, deal. It doesn't matter what I say, does it? We're going to end up there right one way or another, right? Deal. Ha! <laughs> I hit three, and it said deal. Ah, oh, that's good. Perfect. Come along, I'll show it to you. I wonder if the puzzle door isn't going to work. From my perspective at the time, and, and just what I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet. And so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Oh, it worked. Okay. Ha, ah, that was so you simple. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. You can't be the one writing both the questions and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. When I tried to create, I feel empty. Hello? Deal. There was a machine that kept me going. I've solved this puzzle before and it stopped. I need to, to see it to know why it stopped. Hello? Is anyone there? These are my choices. Okay, here we are. What are you talking about? There's a machine, no machine here. These are just words on some walls. It's like one sentence all split into three. Trust me, you'll see. You have to say that your work is fun and easy. You have to say that game development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100% of the time. Okay, making games is simple. Sure, making games is easy. All right, making games is effortless. Okay. Making games is simple. Ah, uh, that feels wonderful. But it wasn't true. Why did the walls just crumble? Why did I feel so awful when I said that? But it wasn't true. Lies will break it down. Keep saying that creation is easy. When I'm at games, I feel completely energized. I'm constantly excited and enthusiastic about my work. It is easy. It never stops being easy. What? This is more this things that we said earlier. Made it. it looked really unhealthy to me. I was watching him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like... Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. Every time I make something, I feel better about myself. Just never stop creating and you'll never feel bad. It's such a simple solution. Trust me, you don't want to go over there. How about a TV surround sound? Help I'm really blind. About. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. None of this is helping. I'm going to vomit. Please, where is the machine? None of this is helping. Patience, you have to trust me. I promise this will work. Please continue. Pain breezes effortlessly off me. Any sacrifices made for my work are worth it 100% of the time. It always pays off eventually. Any sacrifices? No. Well, this is really speaking to me right now. Holy shit. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. There is I no shame, no fear, no guilt. More than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. I will be saved by my work. I believe this unquestioningly. I am a vessel for certainty. I like that line the best. Let's go with that one. Incredible. That's it. 
I'm free. I'm free. What? But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. One month increase on each one, I think. May 2011. Who's the woman crying? In prison. The same prison from earlier, too. Guard. Ma'am, glad to see you've arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be quick. I intend to be quiet. I intend to be brutal. I intend to be quick. Very good. Just be one that someone called the press, so we might have a bit of an attention, bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine: it calls itself Coda. Whoa. Do you know where the poisonous games have come from? What can you tell us? And of course, it's the machine. Very evil within. Static E textures again. One, you stopped. You stopped feeding us. Your work was keeping us alive. Your work was keeping us healthy. You stopped feeding us. Those people out there, can you imagine what pain you put them through? It was only because of your creations that any of us could make it through every day. How could we possibly go back to trusting you to do this job? So here's what needs to happen. You need to go to the people who are out there and apologize to them. You have to admit to the people that you allowed them to suffer. I've been so alone. Let's go with the first one. No, nothing? Think carefully. I know how to hurt you. I have seen the thing you fear. No, nothing? Wow, those, those other two are kind of kind of up there. Oh, is that is that is that the, the shape of three on the on the machine? It, it doesn't look like the same same distance between the top two than, than the other one. But is that the shape of three? Maybe. All right, then I will speak to them for you. My followers, my friends, my friends. It falls on me to deliver bad news. I have a troubling revelation. It falls on me to deliver bad news. The machine will not apologize to us. The machine refuses to admit that it deliberately hurt, deliberately hurt us. Let's go number one. But this is not important. We are stronger than it thinks we are. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Let us pay it retribution. Let us show it that we are not failures. Let us show it that we are not failures. Follow me, we will destroy the machine. Follow me, we will destroy everything that the machine has created. Ooh. Let's destroy the machine. What? So now the work is becoming self-destructive. 
And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for it? You awful if he person. Could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all was just to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Hmm. Spooky safe. Put down your weapon. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something... I really felt like I'd done something good, like, like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could mm. give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. Um. So anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look. The tower. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. This room actually has a maze in it. Oh, what the fuck? Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then okay. every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. Yeah, the game it really goes is. Beyond not being meant uh... to be played, it actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. 
but well, I do after want to show you, did, you the I'm rest of the level, so when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Okay, yeah. Alright. I wonder if you can get through it. Maybe it's the same pattern of the maze from earlier in the game. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? Did you, did you make those changes for the people you showed his games to as well? After you had all those arguments with them about whether games should be accessible? Okay, bunch of zeros. The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six digit code. <laughs> like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here though, so that we can move on. How did you figure out the code? Oh no, we hit buttons and now we have to go through it. How did you figure it out? Well, I guess if you just went through z zero all the way up to up to like just increase by one every single time, that you know you only have to get fifteen, you know, up to, up to that. So that's not too bad. But holy shit! The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem but I can open this door for you so let me do that was I a failure for not understanding this game I, mean, I don't know why I would be it's not like everything needs to have a solution but I feel it somehow I feel like I failed and I don't understand why I remember, it's June of 2011, I'm playing this for the very first time, and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though, that was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. Yeah. And he wouldn't. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left, and it felt somehow like I had failed.
Where did I screw up? Dear Davey, thank you for your interest in my games. I need to ask you not to speak to me anymore. I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. For him to get to see this message, he would have had to break the game, right? Huh. I wonder if that was part of it. If he hadn't broken the game, he wouldn't have seen the message. And therefore, okay, we can still talk. I wonder if that's part of it. Huh. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't think I ever told you this. But when I took your work and I was showing it to people... It actually felt, <laughs> it felt like as it though yours. I were responsible for something yep. important and valuable. I wonder at times whether you think I am making these games for you. What was that clicking there? You infected my personal space. And the people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. You so infected my personal space that it's possible I did begin to plant solutions in my work somewhere hidden between games. If there was an answer, a meaning, would it make you any happier? Would you stop taking my games and showing them to people against my wishes? Giving them something that is not yours to give, violating the one boundary that keeps me safe? Would you stop changing my games, stop adding lampposts to them? What? Adding lampposts? And then Would you, you simply let them be and what they are? I didn't have are. anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. What does that mean? When I'm around you, I feel physically ill. You desperately need something and I cannot give it to you. I literally do not have it. Struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. I realize that this, that this doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine, you're not my problem to solve. But I do hope that one day it clicks and that you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. This guy really cared about you, Davey. Seriously. Seems like he really cared about you. Could it to go to all this trouble? And when you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work, is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. Oh, and no. So a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, Will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? 
Because I know that I did an awful thing, it's and I'm doing thing it again closer. right now. Like I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please. Start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading. And all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Okay, well that answers that question, then it's not, the context isn't live, the context is, 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 it is a program with prompts and everything, okay. That was pretty strong. More, 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 more love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. transition I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just really enjoyed making prison games maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed maybe he just likes making prisons Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. This looks familiar. Why does this look familiar? This looks so familiar. Why is this familiar? If I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation, what would that even be? <laughs> it's strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. I need to go and I'm sorry because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this but I'm starting to feel like I have a lot of work to do I have a lot that I need to make up for and so I'm just gonna okay
What was over there? Prison? Oh, is that the thing that sent us up in the sky? The whisper machine? Project would not have been possible without the following individuals. Let me keep going. But the cave goes for miles and miles and miles. And you're so tired. But I know that you're strong. Alright then, 
Intro, whisper, backwards, entering, stairs, puzzle, exiting, down, notes, escape, house, lecture, theater, Mobius, island, machine, tower, epilogue. All right, let's bring Chet back. Chet's back. Well. Hey, how's it going? Well, so my initial reaction is that just uh, it, it's not it's not fair to say this. This is stupid to, to, to say is the first thing, but it's what pops into my head because because it's said from the creator of Stanley Parable that I enjoyed that more than Parable. I felt that was a lot more focused. It was a lot more poignant than Parable. I feel like it was it was a lot. It it, it built to something. And was making, making a, a point, more. But I just, I just did this just, just now. So I don't know. Um, maybe it's just that this is just fresher in my head. No, this was really good. This was good. This was good. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure that I didn't understand all of it, and I would have to probably play it again, maybe even again after that, two more times to fully understand everything. Uh, but on the surface level, it definitely appears to be about the relationship that artists have with their own work and the creating process, but also the the relationship that people who enjoy artists' work can have, and how that can become interesting as well. Interesting doesn't necessarily mean good, right? But it's interesting. Um, yeah. It di it didn't go where I thought it was gonna go. The vi the the villain of the beginner's guide one. <laughs> uh, it's still Edie. It's still Edie. Uh, when did this game come out? Two thousand fifteen. When did Parable come out? Two thousand fourteen. That was interesting. Also, Davies made actually a blog a blog post about how he felt drained after Stanley Parable release. This game symbolizes that, unfortunately, Galactic Cafe blog where he posted is not working anymore since it is suspended. Okay. 2013 for Stanley? Alright. The first half was very confusing though, right? Um, well, the first half was just examples of, of Coda's work, right? And you're going through it. And I thought it was strange that he was editing them. And then there was that line that's 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 very interesting about about the street lamps, and uh, yeah, that's 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 strange, and it it, make, it makes you think how how much more was he editing them? How mu how many other changes was he making that weren't just press enter? I need to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Hope that was a long enough warning. I know sneezing or sneezing is um. Pretty loud. Can we expect a, a, a future video on this? Very unlikely. I don't know if I if I'd make videos on these games. Um, maybe, but I don't I don't know if I would have enough to say. If 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 I would think about them and replay them, and I'm never gonna say never, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I thank you for the bitch ve veggie subs. 500 bits from veggie subs. If you're interested, Davy did a talk that ties into this game quite well called Playing Stories. Cool. It was uh it, yeah it was, it was it was quite well written. I think I would be interested in that. Thank you again for the bits. So I think he was saying he was editing the games to make them playable for other people, which means adding street lamps as endpoints. Yeah. Yeah. So how many other changes was he making? At what point did they stop being his games? Yeah. As soon as, soon as he started saying he released them to other people, like it's, I said it as I'm playing, I'm like, oh, no, no, don't do that. You can't do that without without talking to the person first, like in the permission, like no. No, don't do that.
any date on the Lisa stream sometime this week. Yep, sometime this week we'll play Lisa. I bought this thinking it was just a collection of short games with commentary and was disappointed when I found out how to narrative. Were you? Well, I mean, it still functions like that, the short games with commentary, doesn't it? I guess not. I, I guess maybe not. Depends on what you were going in for, right? I think the person you play as is Davey and the press is the people he's showing the games to. Um, hmm. Maybe. How how much how much are how much were, did Coda really make, right? How much did Coda make? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, um, while the stream was going, I wasn't saying thank you to um, subs and everything, so I just want to do a, a group thank you right now um, to Shashwami, I think, or Shashwami. Resub for two months, something, something, you're done. You're done. Uh, Sick Tricks, bro. Uh, resubscribe, for two, to resubscribe for two months as well. Glad to see you playing the Beginner's Guide. Excited to hear what you think of this game. Draco Tomes, use 100 bits. Hey, Joe, happy new year. Thanks, Draco Tomes. Uh, Mew Draco has subscribed two hours ago with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time, Mew Draco. Uh, thank you for the resub from Moana Healy. Uh, an hour ago, um, Jaster resubscribed uh, an hour ago with Prime as well. Thank you very much. And thank you to Dr. Octopunch subscribed as well an hour ago. Thank you so much. Sorry that I couldn't say thank you as it was going on. I thought it was better to um, to, uh, to just kind of just focus on the game and um, and let the game go, I think. Yeah. But um, thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Davy is you and you are Coda. Do you think that Coda isn't real, but what Davy wants to become someone complete and happy with themselves? Yeah, that's that's something I thought too. What if they're the same person? Yeah. And this is a creative side that's cut out, cut off from him. But I don't think so. I'm not sure about that. I don't think so. I th I think that I think that Coda the, the story is that Coda is a real person, and and that's and that's it. I think that um, all the scenes are pretty important, but I think that the lecture one is very important for for uh, for their relationship there. Definitely, because you only see, they had other interactions, right? They had conversations, and my guess is that a lot of time was spent with Davey fawning over Coda, and very, very obsessive with his arguments, so, yeah, I, th I think, I think that, um, I think that they're, 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 uh, they're two different people, I think so. If you, have, if you have some free time, the first Lisa game is an hour, around an hour long. I haven't played the painful yet, so I don't know how important it is. Yeah, some people said that. I don't know if I want to play all three, or if I just want to go with painful. I looked up, it's an RPG Maker game, right? The first one? I'm not sure if I want to play the first one. We'll see. Well, I assume the story is fictional. The story is definitely fictional. However, I believe Coda was never Davy's friend, but they put up with Davy because they wouldn't leave him alone like a stalker. See, I don't think, I don't think so. I, I, don't, I don't think that... Coda goes to too much trouble and and pretty much makes that whole game for him, and and kept sending him games that are very personal and very private to him. I don't think so. I don't that that I'm not saying your interpretation is invalid. That is something to think about, and maybe it is correct. But my initial reaction is that no. I don't think so. Davy is Coda, and we are Davy. Do you think this Davy is real? Is the real Davy or a character he created? Uh, I think it's a character, but there, there's there's going to be some truth in it. There were people that thought this story was real when the game came out. Oh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think so, but maybe I'm wrong. What do you think the machine means then? The Coda machine? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, the machine could be... Um, it could be two different kinds of machines, because there was the Whisper machine, and... The whisper machine could be seen as inspiration. That's kind of kind of whispering, you know, thoughts and ideas. Um, and then there's the other machine, which is kind of what maybe Davy turned Coda into, which is just turn these out, make them, make them, make them, that sort of thing. This 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 uh, this obsessive obsessiveness to obsessiveness, this obsession to just keep creating, to not to not just do it when you want to, when you have a calling, but to just keep doing it. Um, yeah, I don't know. A lot to think about. I don't know.
Who do you think R is? I've heard talk of being a man named Robin that Davy knew, but I haven't really looked into it. Do you think this person could be a real Coda? Could be. Could be someone like that. Yeah. It could. It could be a, a, a fictional, twisted version of a relationship that that Davy had. Yeah. Not sure. Hey, RPG makers can be good. I'm not criticizing because it's RPG maker game. I don't think I've ever played an RPG maker game, but I'm saying I'm I'm saying that because I I've, I I because I have never played one. I don't know how to get it running. I don't know. Can I just launch it? Do I have to have RPG maker installed? That sort of thing. I've never played an RPG maker game. I'm not criticizing it. I I don't. Never had any experience with them. Isn't it crazy how in order to make code is work accessible, one has to destroy his vision? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's, there's a lot to be said there about how you know a, a, any any outside influence can 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 poison the well so to speak. Um, yep. Yeah. Definitely. RPG maker games run just like regular games. Okay. Uh, thank you to La Sweetie Man who resubscribed. 2018 is the year Joseph Charles Anderson becomes a weeb. Oh no, is it? Is it? Are we going to be? Are we? It's just going to be nonstop weeb games after this, just nonstop. And uproars. Uproars smarts. Oh no. You're a resub too. Did I say your name this bad last time? Is are there capital letters in your name that I'm not seeing in my list here? Uproar's Makari. Oh no, I'm sorry that I just completely butchered your name. Uh, resubscribe for two months. Dragon Den time. Yep, you're trapped in the Dragon Den. You're 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 trapped in the bad name pronunciation club. And thank you to Joe Hall two one nine for for the new sub with Prime. Welcome to Prime Time. Welcome to the Rub It Up Sub Club. Hopefully, I said your name right at least. Holy crap, I'm so bad at names. So where is that Mario Odyssey video? Chop chop. Yeah, that's yeah, that's. That's kind of sad, you know, it was, it was speaking to me in that moment where, you know, you create things, and not just the videos too, just writing books before, and writing a lot of fiction that, that was never really published, and it was only shared with, with a certain select group of people when I was first starting to, to, to write a lot. And yeah, there, 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 there is this, there's this need to, to create a lot, but there's also this, this drive and this desire. Not, it's not just an expectation; it's a desire to make it look like it's effortless and it's easy, and never complain, and never, never reveal how hard it is. Never, never reveal that it's that sometimes it can be a sacrifice, and you give things a lot up, and that there are other things that you would rather be doing sometimes, and you know you don't get to see your family as much or your friends or. Or anything like that. Yeah, that's 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 part of it. That's part of it. What do you think about Redden's writing style as a whole after playing this in Parable? Uh, well, honestly, if if you didn't tell me, if I just played these two games in a vacuum and there was no, there was nothing there, I wouldn't even say that they were made by the same person. So I guess it shows range. Um, I, I, I can see the same sort of idea, but um, I, I would say they're, they're so different that I would say that the, this is just two completely different people that went with somewhat of a similar format. I, I, I think so. Um, so I can't really connect the two that much. But it was good. I enjoyed it. I, I, I felt... Was it him saying it too? Did, did he? Was that him acting at the same time? Well, Davy himself mentioned Stanley Barrel. This is what I mean. If, if if all mentions of the game were gone, you know, like I, I I would I would I wouldn't think they were made by the same person. It was him. He did a really good job. He did a really good job. That was good. As a creator, are there parts of this game you spoke to? Yep, yep. I just spoke about him a little bit. Yep, yep. There was, there was. Uh, I've never had that sort of one-on-one -on -one interaction with somebody that that is constantly saying. Make more. When's it coming out? Wait. Make more. Make more. Oh, what about this? What about that? What about this? What about that? I've never, I've never had that. Um, but something else to 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 fully accept for me and realize is that um, for the first what two years, almost two years. Um, I made all my videos in an insulated bubble. Right. It's only recently that I came out of the bubble and started speaking to people regularly. Right. 
on Discord and then and then and then uh, and then on here. Um, no, I do get it from a group. Yeah, you're all you're all saying. What do you mean? Yeah, I, I'm. I do get it from a group, but I've never had one individual person just hone in and just become like this obsessive you know, constant messages every day. How's, you know, that, that sort of thing. Um, but as, as a, as a group, sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. When's the Odyssey video coming out? It's, 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 it's canceled. The Odyssey video is canceled. Um, it, it was a choice between the Odyssey video video coming out and anime becoming real. And I chose, uh, anime becoming real. So anime is real, but there's no Odyssey video. I think I made the right choice, right? Did I make the right choice? Anime is real. Hey, hey, don't don't rip, don't f. Anime is real. Anime is real. Your your waifu is out there somewhere. You can find your waifu as long as you were the purest husbando before this moment. That's your waifu for waifu. I hope that you were a pure husbando before anime became real today. Okay. Anime became real. Uh, thank you for the bits from, uh, I, is it Valve or Vilv? I always say this. Every single time I see your name, I, I, do, I go through this, and I'm very sorry that I say it. Um, thank you thank you for the 500 bits. Joe, thank you for the past year, and I wish you a happy 2018. Thanks so much. Right back at you. Happy 2018. Uh, happy New Year to everyone else, too, that uh, wasn't here on, on New Year's stream. Or uh, this is the first stream in, 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 January, in, in 2018, right? So, yeah. Happy New Year to everybody. Yep. Big time. Happy New Year. Hope it's a good one. And thank and thank you to mention mention me when Joe what the fuck has subscribed what mention me when Joe what the fuck has has subscribed okay thank you uh was that name just for me or is that a coincidence Th thank you for the sub welcome to the dragon's den. <laughs> Uh, thank, thank you so much. Uh, anything for the rest of the stream? Are you ending now? Uh, we were going to play Save the Date, but I don't think I want to get into a game like that after this because this was pretty heavy. Um, let's play Let's play Getting Over It for, for the rest of the stream. We'll stream for another... We'll stream until a little bit after 3, and then it's back to the Odyssey mill. Let's, let's go back to Getting Over It for the rest of the stream, and we can talk for a little bit. Okay, so if you if you if you weren't here for the New Year's stream, we finally got past the part we were stuck on, and we got to this kind of, we 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 got up here to this cathedral, we got up here to this anvil, we got past these weird jumps up here, and then we we got to this bucket, we got up to the bucket, and then we got up to this like radio tower with satellites on it, and then we fell right on right right at the top. So apparently that's the end. So we fell right at the end, unfortunately. World is going to be your first. I'm excited to see how you like it. Yeah, me too. There's been a lot of a uh, lot of uh, talking about about the uh, the Monster Hunter games and people wanting me to try them for a while. So I'm I'm excited to get into it. Yeah, beginner's guide is. Do do most people agree that? And I'm not talking about just here in chat, although that's important to me too. Uh, do most people agree that beginner's guide is uh, is 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 the more kind of punchy experience than than Parable? Parable's more fun, right? Parable's more fun. Parable has some strong moments too, though. Oh. 
Okay. I think I got this faster the first time on the anvil jump. You know, you know what I need? I need, I need beer. That's what I need. That's the secret to getting over it. You need just a little bit of beer, right? What? But parable is more enjoyable for me. Yeah, I, I get that. Yeah, I definitely get that. I definitely get that. Would you recommend buying getting over it? Sure, sure. I recommend that to anybody. Suffer, suffer like I have. What? Okay, I'm not pushing down hard enough for the pogo. You gotta be a responsible parent, Jodo? Yeah, I do, yeah. No beer, no beer. At what moment in the game did you commit yourself to getting over it? Uh, probably within the first five minutes. It's like, okay, this, this game is frustrating and you're meant to get really mad at it. Okay, well, I know what we're doing. We're finishing this shit. Oh, no. How do you feel about the quality of the voted games you played so far? So far, it's been pretty good. Yeah, I think I've enjoyed all of them. Uh, even Antichamber. I was probably too tired to play Antichamber. What? Fuck. What? Okay, a little further left on the anvil. What? Uh. Okay, I think we're up. Maybe. Okay, we're up. So a little further left on the anvil, I think. Have you played I Want to Be the Guy or I Want to Be the Boshi? I've played a little bit of I Want to Be the Guy, I think. Um, I didn't really like it that much. I think I played a little bit. Uh, very, very trial and error sort of, sort of crap. Your first time through. No. Not, not, not my favorite thing, but I, I could see, I could see where people like it. Yeah. What's well, so the one that starts with, the, with 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 the two levels and the one has the apples in it that fall and kill you? Is that is that Boshi or is that I want to be the guy? What? Shit, not far enough. Oh, we we did it. Okay. That's guy. Okay, that's the one I did. I stopped watching The Walking Simulator. What are your thoughts on it? Says Punny. Um, I liked it. It was it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it quite a lot. But I need to, I need time to think about it and process it a little bit more. Uh, probably not a good time to even play a game like that, to be honest, because uh, because I'm just so caught up in the Odyssey stuff. But I'm glad that I did still. I'm glad that I did. Wow, we almost just completely fucked that up with the sledgehammer. Okay, now we're at the bucket and we're at the snake. Should we ride the snake? Should we should we ride the snake? Spooky snake? Should we do it? Budget, 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 mushroom, mushroom, snake, snake. Ooh, it's a snake. Shit, 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 shit. Fuck, man. Believe it or not, this thing with the bucket, I did my first try. 
and now now I can't I, can't, I, I have never done it as smoothly or reliably as I did the first fucking time that we got here Like no no memeing. I actually did it first try. Okay, let's wait for the bucket to stop moving. <sighs> How do you feel about the quality of the voted games you played so far? I answered that one already. Did you just say Mimi? No, I said Mi Ming. Mi Ming. Mi Ming, not Mimi. Mi Ming. I'm not even Mi Ming. Go left? I've done this part before, I know where to go. We we've gotten past this before. We've gotten to the we've gotten to the, the, the radio the radio tower or the radar tower, whatever the fuck it is at the top. Uh, I was I was at I was at the th the third satellite on the list and then I and I knocked myself off with a sledgehammer and fell all the way back down here. Unfortunately, so I'm pretty pissed about that. Apparently, I was right at the end. I would I would very much like to be done with this game. Okay, there we go. Would very much like to be done with this game. God damn it. Oh. I think I got that first time too. On a moment-to-moment -moment basis, are you not enjoying playing this? This is actually not that bad of a game. It's not that bad. What? It's kind of cool how 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 um, how much how much better you can get at something that's so shitty. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's it's so it's so frustrating and terrible at the start, and yet you actually do get better at it. It's like what? I I say this as 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 a dad because I see this. It's sort of like. It's sort of like learning to walk. If, if if you ever want if you ever want to 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 to, to re-experience something that you will never remember, which is when you were trying to learn how to walk when you were a baby for the first time, I, 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 it's 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 kind of like that. It's it's so fucking awkward and you stumble and it's awful and and then suddenly it becomes somewhat second nature. It's sort of like that. Oh, fuck. Maybe I need to be more to the left on that, like the anvil. It's like Dark Souls. Nah. Nah, it's not like Dark Souls. You could be playing Hollow Knight. Hollow Knight doesn't have ex have an ex expansion out yet. What? What? Hollow Knight doesn't have its big thing out yet. I wish the bucket would stop swinging faster. Obviously, I have no idea if, if it is true that it's kind of like learning how to walk because I don't remember. No, no one does, um, or at least they don't when they were then they were a baby. Um, but that that's that's how it feels to me. Having 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 recently s s seen two new people learn how to walk, you know, it's that's how it feels to me.
fuck, bucket man. The snake is like the hot frying pan. You don't know what it does, but you want to put your hand on hand there at least once. Ooh, ooh. We're not doing snake. What? We're not doing snake. Nice new sub animation. Thanks. What? Did I miss the sub? Oh yeah, we have two subs. Uh, Leviathan24 has subscribed and Rogerson Raj has resubscribed. I was about to say, is that a new sub? Because I remember that name. Has resubbed for three months with Prime. Thank you so much, Rogerson Raj, for, for, for the three month resub. And thank you to Leviathan24 for the new sub. Welcome to the Rub Dub Sub Club. Welcome to the Cringe Cafe. Welcome to the Winter Worms. Subs want snake? Nope. Nope, we're not doing snake. We're not doing snake. We're not doing snake. Nope. <clears throat> no snake. We're not doing snake. You prefer Hollow Knight on keyboard to controller? Oh my god. What? Do you eat your pizza with a knife and fucking fork too? No! Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> the clench. <laughs> the clench. I think I, th I think we're going down the snake. I think I can feel it happening. I can feel it happening. I love I love how I was better at this the first night. I love how I've gotten worse at the bucket. Fucking worse at the bucket. Snake, snake brings you to the ore, yeah, I bet. I bet. Is it actually that far down, or does it take you to the barbecue? Whoop. Okay. That was totally not intentional, but hey, I'll take it. All right. No, not far enough to the right that time. Not far enough to the right that time on a fight. God damn it, Bucket. God damn it, Bucket. So I have Twitch Prime and my monthly sub just ran out, but it's not letting me use my free sub. Any idea why? Uh, no idea why, sorry. That's kind of, that's unusual. That's weird. Uh, does, can any, does anyone know? Is anyone more familiar with, with how, uh, with how the free subs work with, with, uh, with Prime? <clears throat> what 
the fuck happened there? That was weird. When do you plan on ending the stream today? Uh, probably in 20 minutes. Probably 20 minutes, yeah. Uh, we won't be playing Lisa tomorrow, but we will be playing Lisa soon. What 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 am I doing wrong here? Am I am I am I going the wrong way or or what? I that I was I was I wanted to swing and not pull myself up. I'm kind of pissed. That was that was that was a good hook on the bucket there. Okay, we're up here again. All right. Seriously, I I didn't I didn't fuck this thing up nearly as many times as as, as on New Year's Eve. What the fuck, man? End the stream with Snake if you're still in that area. Nope, no Snake. No, you guys don't get the Snake. That, that that was a New Year's deal only if we were here. No, no Snake. We're not doing the Snake. No Snake for you. A Snake is just a shitty dragon. No Snake. This was a nice break from Odyssey, by the way. Thanks, thanks for hanging out with me today, guys. Nice break. What? I thought we were going snake. I thought we were snaking it out. No. We almost rode the snake. What the f- why can't I do this? First time last time. What the fuck? And like, first time most times too. Why can't I do- it's, it, that's not even that hard of a jump, unless it was just complete fucking fluke last time. Um, what? You can get up here? What the fuck's up here? Is it- is- 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 is there death up here? Is that what's up here? Is there death? Oh no, okay. Anaconda, don't. <laughs> whoop. Whoop. Oh. Oh, shit. Close. Have you ever played the XCOM series? Would that be a game you would consider streaming in the future? I've never played the um, the XCOM games more for more than an hour or so. Uh, not not really my thing, but uh, I, I would stream them to try them out and give them another chance. I don't really like turn-based games. Sorry. Turn-based turn games are not my thing. I, I find them quite boring. Um, double so for for, 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 for for RNG shit fests. I don't, I don't like so much shit being determined by random chance. I prefer it if, you know, I'm in control of something and when I succeed it's because I made good decisions and when I fail it's because I made bad decisions, not that I won because I had a good dice roll or because I lost because I got a bad dice roll. Um, that's not to say that randomness has no place in, 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 in anything, but um, when it comes to determining the outcome of, 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 of gameplay, I don't really care for it all that much. So 
XCOM is this is this double threat of of RNG bullshit plus turn based boring kind of gameplay. Um, that's that's my view on it. Uh, but the theme of it and and the building of your army and stuff really interested me. Okay, I kind of feel like that one should have hooked on. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna go well, is it? Yep, there we go. Do you think this snake is the same snake whom offered Eve the apple in the Bible, thereby connecting this game to the Bible and making it a work of God? Ex yeah, exactly, exactly. Um, and we can see how it's twisted over the years because there was an orange earlier Ooh. instead of an apple, which shows that um, that getting over it was not was not was not afraid of doing its own thing, you know. Go, attempt number 15. Okay, are we supposed to come over here? Oh. No. What's up? What's what the fuck is over here? What? What why why was why will the sledgehammer go through that? Okay, I would say that you can't get up there, but it's this game, so who knows. Okay. Okay, there's no way we're not making it from up here, right chat? There's no way we're not making it from up here. Progression, we did it. Okay, now, now we're in what is quite possibly the worst part of the whole entire game. You have to feel out for these invisible kind of kind of kind of kind of kind of bullshit sort of um, ledges inside the thing. See, there's one right there, and you're supposed to f feel them out, and you're supposed to put the cauldron in it. But it's more of a memorization thing, I think, because because if you don't hook into it, you just kind of just kind of fall and you kind of slide. I fucking hate this part. There, we got one there. I feel like when we got up here last time, it was just completely random chance that we got up here. Okay, this is about halfway, I think. What do you think of the Elder Scrolls games? Which one is your favorite? I've only played Oblivion and Skyrim. Um, Skyrim's my favorite of those two. Just pull yourself into the crevices you've gone to and go slow. You can't do that reliably though without knowing where they are already. Look, I'll show you why. I'll show you why. Hold on. If you know where they are, that'll work. But if you don't know where they are, it won't work. Okay, so where where's the first one? It's around here, right? Even here, it shows it. See see how when I'm pushing down into it and it's not there that the cauldron upon 
Oh, there it is. This is this is one. Okay, so if you if if you pull yourself in right, and you put and you and you lower the cauldron in, and now you're in it. Um, when when you're feeling out for the next one, if you don't get it, cauldron upon will shift up on 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 the on the on the ice as you're pushing down to see if it is actually that one. So you have to kind of already know where they are. Like, is is that digging in? Okay, there. That's good. Because when you put pressure on the ice. It will, it, it will, it will, or the snow or whatever it is, it'll, it'll send you flying off. It's, it's enough pressure to, to, to make it so cauldron upon leaves the ice and then you're fucked. We've had way much more success just, just kind of just flinging ourselves up. I think they're all just a little bit. They're all a little bit down from the, from the max range. So this one I think should be here. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck, man. It's not what I wanted to do. This should this should stick in enough for us to get up there maybe no okay we lucked out we're down here now okay so where's the first one here is it right there mm. oh. fuck man oh. Sorry, this is very frustrating. This is very frustrating. It's not the most frustrating part of the game, but I think it's I think it's number two. I think it's the second most frustrating part of the game. Can you ham it up a little for the lols? Nah, I don't like doing that too much. Okay, if we're gentle about it, maybe we can find where they are. If we're really gentle, maybe. Nah, it depends on how... Is that it already? Okay, we found it already. Yeah, maybe if we're really gentle, we can do it. I don't know. It all depends on how, yeah, it depends on how secure we are in, in, in the wall. How do you know if a pirate is winking at you or just or just blinking? Uh, the bulge. Fuck, man. God damn it. I felt like I felt like that part we we could swing ourselves on earlier. God damn it. All right, I feel like we're getting better though. I feel like we're getting better. 
I feel like look I feel like looking for looking for the things is, is, is the way to do it. So I think people in chat were right. It's just really tough to, to learn where they are at first. So it's 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 a commitment, I guess, or an investment of, of, of learning where they are. And hoping that you're not too delicate on the wall to when as you're feeling see even there that little light tap sent me down a little bit what? fuck that's not what i wanted to do Having the nooks being hidden seems kind of silly. Is this the first time you've watched this game? <laughs> this that's the, that's the name of the game is is to be is to be uh, is to be frustrating by being by being silly. Really? That felt like it was hooked in. Is that a is that a fake hook? Or a fake nook? What? Why didn't that one work? Okay, more more than anything I wish the game was consistent. More than anything I wish the game was consistent. But again, maybe that's the point. So we've been here before, we've been here before, and we we launched ourselves off accidentally off of the third satellite dish or something. Um, so it's not over yet. It's not over yet. I could launch myself off at any moment and go all the way back down to the bucket, to bucket upon. But right now we're with shopping cart upon. Yeah, we've been here before. Yeah, yeah. We got to the, we got to the top of the radar dish or the radar tower, whatever the fuck it is, and uh, I, I assume you have to get over to the other side of the radar tower. And uh, I, I launched myself off, and I fell all the way back down to the bucket, like kind of like that. What I did just there. Only I was way higher up, and because I was way higher up, I I sent myself fucking flying all the way back down. We probably won't do it right now, actually. Oh. 
Uh, Shim should be done, but let's keep going for a few more minutes to see if I fuck it up or if, or if we get to the top. Because that's the end, right? Is, is, is it the end? No, no trolling chat, because I need to go. I need to work on Odyssey. Is, is the top of the radar tower the end? Please, please, s serious for once, chat, no trolling. Because because Odyssey video, like, is, is it the end at the top? What? 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 Wait, wait. What do you mean? What? The, what the fuck are you talking about? What? The, what the fuck, game? What the fuck? What? The, okay, we're on this. We're on this. What? We're on this. We're on this. On this. No! 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 What the fuck? Oh. Um. I dedicate this game to you, the one who came this far. I give it to you with all my love. No. Ah. Uh. No, 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 don't fall back down, don't fall back down. I don't think we're meant to go back down. I don't think we're meant to go back down. I don't think we're meant to go back down. I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand what's happening right now. I don't understand what's happening. Is this the end? Are we done? Why are we falling down? Do we go up? Oh, why, why is, what? Why is it pointing down with the, with the hammer? Are we done? Did we do it? Did we finally get over it? Getting over it with Bennett Foddy, a game by Bennett Foddy featuring design. Are there more bats? Are there gonna be more fucking bats. Featuring design, art, code, sound, music, levels, 3D models, textures, marketing, writing, QA, and voice acting by Bennett Foddy, but also featuring 3D models, various music, sounds, code by various other folks. In particular, the original sexy hiking game concept I'm is by Jazua. road feeling bad and i ain't gonna be treated this away it's been a while since i wrote anything by hand this is making my fingers hurt if you enjoyed this game i bet you'll also enjoy the game that inspired it sexy hiking by jazzo a free game that you can still find at his website i'm going jazzo and i ain't gonna be treated rain worlds on this list desert golfing Did we do it? Did we get over it? Am I a streamer now? Holy shit, what a day. We got over it. We got over it. I'm a streamer now. Anime's real. What a day. I'm going down this road feeling bad Lord, I'm going down, down this road, this road feeling, feeling bad. bad I'm going down this road feeling bad Thanks, I'm watching Jazz a lot Thanks to you for playing my game and for reading the credits So, crossed out, sorry about that one The time when you got all the way to the top and fell all the way to the bottom Okay, that's it for me, Bennett Foddy, 2017 First try. First try.
first try. Oh no, is it gonna drop me? Welcome to the top of the mountain. If you're alone, you can come inside and say hello. I solemnly swear that I am not recording or streaming this, and I understand that only those who have climbed are welcome. Clear time, five hours, eight minutes, and nine seconds. What? Five hours? That wasn't five hours. It was way longer than five hours. Was it only five hours? What? How is it five hours? Does it lie to you? Does it make you feel better? Does it make you feel better? I don't think it was five hours. Hold on, what does Steam tell me? Steam, tell Steam tells me 12 hours. Does it not count pause time or some shit? What the fuck, five hours? I reset two times. Oh, is it because, oh, I see, I see. Okay, 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 okay. Cause, cause, cause I started a new game. Okay, so yeah, so that that's, that's not accurate. Um, okay, I'm sorry guys, but I'm gonna respect the game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna respect the game. I'm gonna respect the game and I'm not gonna show this because I don't know what this is. I actually really wanna see it though. Do I have to beat it again on my own time or should I turn the stream off? No, I'm not, I'm, look, it says, it has a little solemnly swear, like, come on. Come on, I gotta respect the game. Come on, I have to. Yeah, I'll turn the stream off and then I'll do it. I gotta respect the, come on. Come on, I gotta respect the game. Okay, hold on, hold on, let's, let's do a vote. Let's do a vote, hold on. New poll, should I respect the game? Yes. No, okay? I, I'm not doing it anyway, no matter what, but I just want I just want to know. Oh shit, my bad. Poll new. Should I respect the game? Yes, no. There you go. There you go. There you go. There's the poll. There's the poll. There's the poll. Holy shit, chat's moving so fast. There's the poll. There's the poll. I think I should respect the game. I, I, I think I should respect the game. Uh, thank you for the bits, uh, I am 999-1000. We finally got over it. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you for the cheer. And thank you to Spoiler Kevin for the resub um, with Prime two months. Thank you much, Spoiler Kevin. Uh, thank you again for the bits, I am 999-1000. You're very generous with your bits. And thank you for the cheer from Gecko2353. Is that the poll? Linking the poll? I, okay, holy shit, the votes coming out of the same. I think, I, okay, it's, not only do I think that I should respect the game, but most people seem to think that I respect the game as well. Okay, so that's it. We're respecting the game. Okay, so this is the end of the stream. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the stream off, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, you know what I should do? You know what I should do? I should just be a massive tease. I should be a mass, no, because it, it, it might, it might, it might have sound. Okay, I was gonna, I was gonna black out the game, but no, it might have sound. Never mind. Never mind. No, it might have sound. What if it's a movie or something? Like I don't, I, yeah. I, I'll I'll just do it after. I'll just do it after after um after stream. It doesn't have sound. I don't trust chat. I don't trust chat. I don't trust chat. No, you guys wanted me to make the ride the snake. No, no. There is no sound. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Can I just can I just mute it? Can I just mute mute desktop? Hold on. All right, desktop's muted. You can't hear it now, right? Desktop's muted, and game capture, just, just, just gone. Okay, there we go. There we go. Right? Hold on. Hold on. We're muted, and it's black. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. All right, I solemnly swear. Is the game gonna know I have OBS open though? All right, I solemnly swear that I'm not recording or streaming. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, you guys can't see and can't hear it, so that's fine. Okay. Oh my God! Really? Holy shit! This is amazing. What the fuck? Oh my God! Those, 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 those are, those, those are the best, the, the, that's, that's like the hottest girl guy I've ever seen. Holy crap. Holy crap. <laughs> oh. 
A million dollars? A million dollars? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> Wait, you can't come in and see it? Yes, I can. No, you didn't beat the game. I solemnly yes, swore. I can. No. I suffered no. through enough. Chat. I Sh suffered. Lily. There was not enough alcohol in this chat, apartment to get me through this game. Chat is night. outraged. Chat is out. You you are just as you're just as an audience. You can't be here. You're not respecting the game. Fine, I'll leave. <laughs> I'll remember this later. You've already seen it now, right? I've seen what? Is, isn't he she pretty? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's either that or a million dollars. Maybe new waifu. Yeah, maybe new waifu. It's like I I never thought of 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 to be from that angle before. I mean, that character from the shit, from mm. that angle before, you know? It doesn't leave much to the imagination. Yeah, it, does, does it, it? Does, it doesn't, right? No, it doesn't, no. But I guess it just, it's it's with the trend that anime is real, right? That's that, true. That anime is real. Anime is real. Anime lives and breathes. An anime is real. Anime is real. Okay. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm, I'm, I've, 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 I've left the, uh, the, the, the best picture, but I, I took, I took some screenshots. I took some screenshots. I'm surprised that most people wanted me to check the game. Okay, we're done. All right, thanks guys. Thanks for stopping by. We got over it. Uh, beginner's guide was great. Finally. Beginner's guide was great. So I'll see you tomorrow for something. I don't know if we'll, I don't think we'll be starting Lisa tomorrow because um, I don't quite want to get into Lisa yet while Odyssey's still hanging over me. Um, but yeah, um, we'll start. We'll do something tomorrow. We'll do something tomorrow. Maybe we'll do this again and we'll ride the snake. Maybe. Maybe we'll ride the snake. I'll watch the speed run. Yeah, in my own time. I'm sure it's gonna be crazy. I'm sure it's gonna be like nuts. Someone said it's two minutes, so it's probably just ridiculous. Anyway, uh, I'm very hard at work at Odyssey, so please expect it soon. Um, I'm sorry this is taking so long. I kept adding to the script. Even a couple days ago, I was still adding to the script. And like I said, it's it's two fucking hours long. So I'm very sorry. I'm, I really am sorry it's taking so long. But it, they take as long as they take. That's why I don't give estimates. I'm even I'm even disappointed that I gave the kind of kind of rough estimates that I already gave. Because it's because it's not it's not um it's not fair to, to string you guys along. But I always want to give people like progress reports sort of how far I am. And I keep thinking I'm further than I am. And then I add more and it becomes crazy. So yeah. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, but I'm not I'm not adding any more. So yeah. All of it's recorded. I've already done a, a, a huge chunk of video editing. We're very, very close. We're very, very close. <sighs> anyway, yeah. So good stream. Thanks, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. See you later. We're done. We're done. Seriously, hot picture at TV, right? So hot. So hot picture at TV. Waifu. New waifu. New waifu.